Hello, North from North Sounds here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Core Kronos as the MIDI input device and audio interface for Gig Performer 5. So I've got Gig Performer loaded with the 80s cover set one. I want to control the sounds using my Kronos. All I need is a USB cable, a regular printer cable. I'm going to connect this to the Kronos and this to my computer. And as soon as I plug that, the computer will recognize the Kronos as a MIDI device. Immediately, I can start playing it. But the audio is coming out of my regular audio interface for my computer. What I want to do is I want the audio to come out of the Korg Kronos. So on Gig Performer 5, let's go to Audio Setup, and that's found in Options. And let's go audio setup. And here we can change the output device to the core Kronos. So I'm going to just go ahead and choose Kronos USB. So we know it's going to be there because it got recognized the moment I plugged it in. And I'm going to apply settings. So in this case, I won't be using any input devices. I'll just leave it the way it is. The settings have been applied. And if I play the keyboard, I won't hear anything yet because I need to set up the USB inputs of the Kronos to output through either the left and right outputs or the auxiliary outputs. So there are four auxiliary outputs. In this case, I want it to go out through the auxiliary outs one and two. I'm going to have to have my cables connected to one and two going out to my mixer. So to do that, I go to global and go to the audio tab. And from here, I'm going to change USB 1 and USB 2 to auxiliary outputs 1 and USB 2 goes to auxiliary output 2. There you go. And you can see that USB 1 and USB 2 are panned hard left and hard right. So each channel will automatically go to left and right. So I've got my outputs 1 and 2 connected to my mixer. And as soon as I play audio from Gig Performer 5 comes out through the Kronos into the mixer. So now that we've got the audio sorted, uh, I want to use the control surface of the Chrono, so that means the knobs, the buttons, and the sliders, and even these two buttons here to control the various controls on screen. So to do that, I'm still in global mode right here. I'm going to go to MIDI and go to external one. So all of these controls can be assigned to a CC number or control change number and we can have Gig Performer learn those assignments and use these sliders and buttons so everything on screen will start working. So in this external one page, you can see that these correspond to these controllers. So you can see that in knob one, that would refer to this knob, and then switch one's gonna refer to this switch. And there's two rows of them, switch one to eight and nine to 16. So these are all assignable here. And we've got sliders one to eight. So that's these. Now up here, you have external mode setups. Kronos actually comes with pre-existing setups for various VSTs and software. And we can also create our own setup. So that's what I'm going to do now is go to setup number 127. And I'm just choosing 127 because it's easy to access. So I'm going to assign my sliders to particular CC numbers, sliders one, to eight, I'll just assign them from CC 101 to 108. I'll just type that in. So for slider one, I'm going to type in 101 and press enter. 102, 103, enter, and so forth. Now I want to assign these buttons to progress through my song list and the different variations in the set list and gig performer. I'm going to assign these to the next available CC number. So uh, buttons 1 to 4 will go from CC 109 to 112. I'm going to go to switch 1 and select the CC number and just type in 109, enter, 110, enter, 111, and 112. 
So later on as well, you can just assign different CC numbers to the other buttons. So now that's done, I'm just gonna save this setup to external mode setup 127. And all I need to do is press the record write button and update global settings and press okay. Another way to do it as well is just go write global settings. So you can either update or write the same thing. So let's go to combi mode and choose an init combi. So we have a blank slate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change timbre one as a dedicated external controller. So to do that, all we need to do is press this one and change that to external two. So another thing we need to do is go to the external for our control surface. And that will now align with the settings that we did in global mode, which has the corresponding CC numbers. At this point, let's save our combi and call it gig performer. So I'm going to go to the drop down menu, write combination and call this combi gig performer. And this will be my dedicated gig performer combi controller. So now let's go back to Gig Performer and use some buttons to progress through our songs and also the variations within the song. So what I want to do is I want to use these two buttons to become the controller for moving through a song. So let's go to Options and Global MIDI and we get this um, window over here and let's go down all the way to the bottom and you can see here it says previous rack space song and next rack space song. So whatever you assign here will progress through your set list. And I'm going to go ahead and assign my button one and button two for this. So previous rack space slash song, highlight that, press learn MIDI for selected item. And I'm going to select number one. There you go. And then I'm going to go to the next rack space song and assign this button to go to the next. And there you go. So if I get out of here, you can see that if I just press this, it'll go through the different songs in my set list. So now I'm going to use these buttons one and two on the control surface to go through the different song parts of the song. So I've got Africa on screen at the moment. And if I want to go from the intro to the verse to the solos, I can use these buttons instead. So let's go back to options, global MIDI. And this time I'm going to go next variation song part. And you can see it's not assigned yet. Learn MIDI for selected item button two. This one, I'm going to assign to button one. There you go. When I remove this and get out of here, you can see that it is progressing through the different song parts on screen. What I want to do now is assign these sliders to the sliders on screen. All I need to do is press edit and select this widget. And that gets highlighted. And I'm going to go to MIDI and just press learn and I can use this slider and just go back to that same value and go to the next widget, which is this slider and go to the next slider on the Kronos. Let's go do that. And for the last one, let's go ahead and just match that same volume. After that's done, we can go back out and these sliders now correspond to the sliders on screen. And once you're done setting that up, you can save your rack space or your gig file to remember those controller settings. And that's how you set up your Kronos to be the MIDI controller and audio interface to Gig Performer 5. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.